Edwardian friends and colleagues. This year we celebrate 150th anniversary of the birth of Alfred Adler, the founder of individual psychology. Findet ihr nicht auch, dass wir zu den Glücklichen gehören? Wir haben schließlich Alfred Adler kennengelernt. Wir haben alle irgendwann von ihm gehört, gelesen, Vorträge beigewohnt, Ausbildungen gemacht und verstanden, dass Alfred Adler beseelt war von der Idee, dass die Welt besser sein könnte, als sie damals war. Hello to my Swiss friends. I'm so happy to talk with my Swiss Adlerian friends. I really love Switzerland. I think of it as a wonderful place for Adlerian activities. Adlerian organizations, associations and institutes all over the world are celebrating this occasion. He had shown it was grandiose psychology. Seine individual psychology. She is really a psychology. A pedagogic, a psychotherapy, a philosophy, and she is a humanist life, built on the concept of the community feeling. She is a direction for freedom and a healthy life through mitmenschlichkeit. That's why I am happy that Academy for Individual Psychology have decided to organize the fourth Swiss Congress of Adlerian Psychology and commemorate Adler's birthday. Behind me is a picture of Rudolf Dreikers, and he loved Switzerland. He was there many times, and he helped the Swiss Adlerians to develop a strong Adlerian group, and I hope all of you will carry on the excellent tradition that Dreikers and Adler started. And we're ce celebrating Adler's birthday. It's a wonderful thing to do, and we should all be grateful that Adler lived. It turns out that when I was a little girl, I did meet him but I have no memory of it because babies are not impressed by famous people. And I was only a baby when I met him. I remember the moment 1916, when Adler in Café Central in Wien sich wieder traf with his students, strich Anhänger. He came from the war, which was still full of wütete with chaos. Flüchtlinge leiden. Er hatte gesehen, wie Menschen unmenschlich behandelt wurden und Mitmenschen zu Feinden gemacht wurden. Er hatte Machtmissbrauch und Ungerechtigkeit gesehen und er hat seine eigene Hilflosigkeit erlebt. Und dann mitten in dem Krieg kommt er wieder mit den Seinigen in Café Central zusammen und sagt, meiner Meinung nach, ist Gemeinschaftsgefühl das Einzige, was die Welt im Moment braucht. Die Anwesenden waren gebildete Menschen. Die Crème de la Crème der Gelehrten in Wien, Journalisten, Lehrer, Philosophen, Schriftsteller, Wissenschaftler. Und es gab eine heftige Diskussion über diesen fast religiösen Begriff. Gemeinschaftsgefühl. Alfred Adler was a visionary. He a long time ago foresaw what would happen in the field of mental health. In the time of causal symptomatic medicine and mental health, he came out with the principle of purposiveness and he saw purposiveness in all kinds of psychopathology, behaviors, emotions, and all characteristics of personality. If there is a purpose which guides our behavior and emotion, if there is a goal which integrates our behaviors and emotions, then personality is a consistent unit. 
My father, Rudolf Dreikers, worked with Adler in Vienna, and they shared passion for democracy, which was very important in Vienna after World War I. Adler and Dreikers were both in the Austrian army, and both of them found that war was not a solution for human problems, that it only makes problems worse in the long run and in the short term. Both Adler and Dreikers were convinced that in order to live in peace with humanity, we need to follow some principles. And everybody who has had Adlerian training knows what some of those principles are. The main one for living well with other people is social interest, or Gemeinschaftsgefühl, in order that we can contribute to the larger society. For all of us, that makes a big difference. And what I particularly like about Alfred Adler is his importance and emphasis on positive side of personality and optimism. And nowadays we hear a lot about strengths, empowerment, personal assets. Is it not Gemeinschaft Gefühl a social aspect of coping, of resiliency? Das Gemeinschaftsgefühl oder wie Adler auch mal hinzufügte, Liebe deinen Nächsten, hat mehr mit Gemeinschaft als mit Gefühl zu tun mehr mit Bewusstsein und Handeln. Mit dem Bewusstsein, dass wir Menschen alle zusammen eine organische Einheit bilden und dass verschiedene Hautfarben, Religionen, Neigungen, Veranlagungen, Meinungen, Aspekte dieser Einheit sind und dass die Gesundheit des Ganzen von der Gesundheit der Einzelnen abhängt. Also von dir und von mir. Praktisch geht es um Dienst am Mitmenschen, um die Notwendigkeit, an den anderen zu denken, auf den anderen zu achten und sich für ihn und seine Belange zu interessieren und ihm wo nötig zu helfen. Es ist klar, in dieser Zeit mit seinen Kriegen und Flüchtlingen, mit seinem Machtmissbrauch und seiner Ungerechtigkeit, dass wir eine mächtige Entwicklung von Gemeinschaftsgefühl brauchen. If we really care for other people, that helps us care for ourselves and we need to care for ourselves. If we're not encouraged and if we're not caring for ourselves, we truly have a harder time in coping with difficulties. We need to care for ourselves just as we care for others. And so a lot of emphasis is given to the fact that psychologists need to learn how to take care of themselves. And the principle is the same as what Adler and Dreikers were talking about, which is if you want to be an encourager to others, you must yourself be encouraged. If you're a discouraged person, it's much harder for you to encourage other people. So make sure that you feel encouraged. Work on helping yourself. Work on feeling adequate and feeling good about yourself. And that helps you because then you can encourage others as well. And so I'm encouraging you to look after yourself. That's part of social interest. Many people think it's not a part of social interest, but it really is because each of us is a member of a community. And if we're helping the community, we also have to help ourselves. All of us need to feel good about what we're doing and then we can do a better job. So my hope is that all of you feel good about yourselves and Adler would be proud of you. I'm sure of that. I'm sure he'd be happy that people now take seriously all the teachings he had and that they're celebrating his birthday. We all begin in families. Let's 
uh, celebrate and appreciate our families of origin, the families we live in now, and the large international family of Adlerian individuals and organization where we belong. Und mit Adler stehen wir immer mitten im Leben, in unserer Verantwortung für den respektvollen Umgang mit allen Menschen, mit den Tieren, mit der Natur und mit der Welt, mit der Erde. So, I wish you all well. I wish all the Adlerians can succeed in their good work. And if Alfred is watching us, let's make him proud. On behalf of the International Association of Individual Psychology, I wish your Congress to be very successful. And let us all remember how lucky we are that Adler lived and that Dreikers lived and that Eric Brumenthal lived and many of the Swiss Adlerians who helped create the wonderful Adlerian group in Switzerland. My best wishes to all of you, and I'm thinking of you happily and fondly. I'm kissing you goodbye. Bye bye. Weltweit gedenken und feiern wir Alfred Adlers 155. Geburtsjahr. So auch in der Schweiz, anlässlich des Kongresses SCAP 2020 in Kloten. Ich gratuliere uns allen mit einem Gefühl der Verbundenheit und sende die besten Wünsche aus den Niederlanden.